Hello all. So I just got back from seeing the Fantastic Four and it was kind of a really odd experience. And I say it was an odd experience because I actually liked it, but at the same time, I can see why everyone hated it, um, which doesn't happen too often when you see a movie. Um, and the reason why I liked it was because I could tell that there was a great film there because it had a lot of really good elements. A lot of really good moments, a lot of parts were really good acted, a lot of it was really smart. Um, I could see all that and there was so many really good little moments that I really liked it. But at the same time, I could tell that the entire ending of the film was just hacked off with a chainsaw. Um, and it was quickly re-edited back together. Um, and because it this editing process was so obvious. Like there's people who have pointed out that they've noticed that Sue Storm's hair changes often in the film and little other little things like that. Because this re-edit job is so obvious and the film just suddenly ends and it feels like 20 minutes or 30 minutes was cut out of the film, a lot of people can't get past that. A lot of people hate that. And I think it's pretty clear what happened. Um, the director made a very dark and foreboding film he handed it in and, and you know, Fox wanted a comic book superhero happy-go-lucky film. So they made this really happy-go-lucky ending and completely ripped out some of the dark elements. Um, and we ended up with a film that wasn't as good and a lot of people hate because it's so obvious that it was re-edited. But I really like what this film was trying to be. Um... And the reason why I like what was trying to be is I like films that take different genres and shove them together and see what happens. And this was so dark and so foreboding at times, it felt like a horror film, but with a superhero storyline, which was really interesting. And I felt, hey, that could actually work as a really good film. Um, so I thought about it a little bit and I, I've come up with my own personal um opinion on how you could fix this movie, how you could make this movie a really good movie and why I think the movie should have been. So here's my step-to-step -step guide on fixing this film and actually making a film that everyone would have loved, okay? You would have loved it, everyone would have loved it, and people would not be complaining about it right now like they, like they are, like crazy. All right, so bear with me. Here's the good version of Fantastic Four that we could have got. Alright, so spoilers of course, because I'm going to retell the entire movie. But right off the bat, don't call it Fantastic Four. Call it something else so it doesn't tick off the Marvel fanboys and Marvel fan women and everybody. Call it something else because it's trying to be a different movie and it's trying to be a different story. and really doesn't have that much to do with Fantastic Four. So give it a different title. Second step, make it a straight-up horror movie with a superhero storyline. That's what the first two-thirds of this film feel like. A horror movie with a superhero storyline. And I was really digging that. I was digging the dark and foreboding elements. So just go all out with it and make it a horror movie with a superhero storyline. I haven't seen that before. That sounds cool. That's what the first two-thirds of this film felt like. And that was kind of awesome. So just make it a horror movie and call it a day. All right? Good. You follow me so far? Good. So, next thing to change is have Sue get in the teleporter with the rest of the gang. She's part of the group. Makes more sense why she would get mutated that way, so have her get in the machine. All right, the, all the rest, all the first part of the movie plays out the exact same, only she gets in the machine. That's the difference. Then they go to the other world, things go awry, much like they did in the movie. They teleport back, they leave behind Dr. Doom. They get right back, but the, but the machine doesn't get destroyed. It doesn't blow up. They get back, and, and they're fine. The powers have not sunken in yet. But then Johnny's like, we left behind Doom. He's, he's back there, and he's probably hurt. We got to go grab him. And they're all like, well, we didn't mean to leave him behind. We panicked, but let's go get back him and get him. So they get back in the machine literally just two minutes later. They teleport back, and they find... Dr. Doom lying in the wasteland of the other world with the suit burned to his flesh and he seems dead. They grab him and they teleport back. They're back home and then the powers finally sink in 
and then they all just go nuts because Reed starts stretching all over the place. Um, ben starts turning the rocks. Sue starts going invisible, and Johnny just blows up in fire, and they're all terrified of it. They're all horrified, just like it was in the film. They're all scared out of their minds, and all the meanwhile, Doom seems as dead as a doornail, so he's put into a, a hospital in, like, in what seems to be a coma. They're all flipping out. The doctors don't know what's happening. Everybody's scared out of their minds. Um, meanwhile, Doom wakes up, and he starts killing people off, but off camera. We see him do it. We see it go down. They don't see it go down. Every now and then he just gets up and kills someone. And it plays out like a slasher film. He just keeps slowly and meth methodically taking people down. But you don't know why. And you don't know why he's doing it. And you don't know his reason. You just see him keep killing people off until there's lesser and lesser and lesser people. And then slowly but surely it's down and down and down. And it's really great kills. Make this an R film. Make it an R film, okay? Make it a hard R, okay? Have him really kill people. Anyways, as he's whacking people here and there, Reed, Johnny, Sue, Ben, they're all trying to control their powers, but they can't really, and it scares the bejesus out of them. Um, because, like, the one person's on fire and he can't stop and the other person's a rock monster. It's horrible. It's horrible things. Um, but finally, they do figure out that Dr. Doom is killing people like crazy. And they ask him, why are you killing people? And Dr. Doom is like, what you expect? You left me behind on that planet for years and years. You took away everything and you left me in hell. And for a moment, they're like, they're like, what? We did what? We went right back and got you. But of course, the reveal is they were on a different planet in a different universe. So time works differently there. Yes, in our world, they were gone for two minutes. But in Dr. Doom, in the alternate world, it was like five years. So the guy's been left alone for years upon years, and he's slowly gone mad with isolation, and now he's just blasted nuts, killing everybody. I'm sorry to use nuts. I, I know some people find that as an insult, and they rightly should. I, I probably might want to rethink of wording that. But anyways, he has lost it, let's say. Okay? He was isolated for years. Now he's re back into the populace, and that's why he's killing people. Um, not much of a motivation, but it works in a horror film. So they try to stop Doom. They kill him, sort of. And then they check his body, and it's gone. And then it just ends, much like how Halloween just ends. And that's the movie. Um, and I think that would have been a good movie because that would have been a straight-out slasher horror film with the fly elements meets a superhero movie and if you would have changed the title to from fantastic four to something else no one would have complained about it they would have instead gone this really unique dark superhero horror hybrid that people have actually really dug um and i really dug the horror elements of dr doom walking down hallways blowing up people's heads i want to see that the movie but you know, I won't, because a lot of people didn't like this movie, and probably rightfully so. But anyways, that's the movie. That's it. That's the good version. Just make it a straight-up slasher flick with a superhero backstory, and make it dark and gloomy, and let it be its thing, and give it a hard R, and let the director do his job. And I would have bought that. I'm not sure about the end product, but I would have bought that. So... That's how I would have fixed it. Yeah, so that's how I think you could fix this movie. Make it a hard R horror film with a superhero storyline and just don't make it Fantastic Four and you got a good movie. Kind of like the Chronicle, Chronicle, the, the director's first film on acid, um, ramped up to 11. And I would have been totally down for that. And I felt like that's what this film was trying to be and should have been. Once again, Dr. Doom walking down the hallway and blowing up people's heads was awesome. And if you took that and made it into a whole movie, it would have been good. But of course, Fox re-edited the film, cut out probably the best parts, and we got a movie a lot of people hate. I still kind of like, but anyways, that's how I would have fixed it. I'm sure a lot of people think it was too crummy to fix, but did you like it? Or do you think it should have just been thrown in the trash altogether? 
Let me know. Okay. I'm going out.